Yes. Today I'm going to discuss you about a topic that is uh, is a software engineering topic, requirement engineering. First of all, I should introduce you that what is requirement engineering. As in the software in the software industry, when you work on the large size software and large size software, this software is not built by a single person. Instead, it is built by a team of software engineers who work parallelly on the different modules. And in software engineering, the problem is that when we start working, our requirements are not very much clear at the initial stage as our clients are not are requesting few things, but finally they have much more things in their mind. And when developer on the other side use technical terms and the client use in, express in the natural languages, so there uh, and they do not understand the meaning of the technical words. And there are some demo, uh, other distinction differences also like they are from different society, they are from different culture, so there are some traditional difference. So there is a communication gap in between. And for to make this worse, their requirements keep on changing. And some of the requirements, as I have told you, are functional, non-functional, and undreamed requirement, in which some departments were requirement which comes at the runtime. And some of the requirements which do you uh, think that they are very much clear in the starting, but they modify when you start working on it. Because of this dynamic nature of the requirement, the designing of software engineering is the first step is to identify all those all those requirements. So there is a in this branch requirement engineering is the term used to identify all the possible require all the uh, important requirements before starting the projects in this the first step is the software elicitation in software in elicitation we first find out or identify what are the actual requirements of this project for requirement uh, elicitations the uh, steps are brainstorming, fast technique, and that we have studied earlier. In brainstorming, what happens when the in this the different developers which works on the different modules sits together and they discuss the detailed idea and detailed set of requirement they consider important. The advantage of brainstorming were that in this the complete view. Suppose one person, uh, so, uh, they can get detail study or analysis over the they can do detailed review of the actual requirement and in it the session is uh, as in the or different model different teams works parallelly so there could be difference in ideas their concept uh, and their way of creativity and so when they try to combined all these module and everybody has a different perception of the final software, then it will create problem while integrating those software and problem in the at final, the look and feel of the product would be not as per expectation because at everyone will have a different idea. So we are uh, used to organize a brainstorming session in which we find out the common agenda in which the most of the requirement are finalized. And similar to brainstorming in the fast technique, there is another technique that is called interviews, which is very important. And now I'm going to discuss you about this interview technique that's a part of the software elicitation, like brainstorming and fast technique. So in the interview, there are two, uh, two methods of interviews. The interview can be of two types. Interview may be open-ended or structured uh, in this there is no preset agenda and in their context free question may be asked to understand the problem and to have an overview of the situations right so uh, 
and the requirement engineer must be open minded and should not approach to the interview with preconceived notion about what is required first of all when you start interviewing somebody then you should not uh, you should be open minded and you should not preconceive something about the project because it, that will it, because this will help you in getting the and accepting the different ideas and the normally uh, the object the object of conducting an inter interview is to understand the customer expectation from the software and both parties have different feeling goals and opinion and vocabularies and understanding but one thing uh, thing and we have to find out and uh, but they both want the project to be successful and we want to find out that how this is possible uh, for example if i take uh, example of the suppose i am going to make a result management system then what could be the possible question that will come to the that will be asked first one is who is the controller of examination and who has requested for such a software here uh ye aap jo the questions are how many officers are placed in the examination division who will use the software who will explain the manual system like this question here the questions are actually i you are in the sense that they are try to trying to identify the stakeholder means who are directly or indirectly connected to will, will be connected to this software and we actually we are making software for somebody on or these stakeholder who are, will were interact with it so for, we must identify that what they are interested uh, why they are interested in this software okay so first we shall analyze the manual system that is currently running and we first we should understand the working of the manual system so that we can give the same functionality in our software so to understand the manual system we should identify that who are the responsible person who are dealing with and uh, who are uh, doing the management or are uh, doing the main key uh, who are the key persons who are dealing with uh, manually so the questions are who is the controller of examination as we are making the result management system the examination controller plays a very crucial role in it similarly the next question is uh, who has requested for soft, uh, such a software because the person who is interested in the software will certainly have intention so we want to know that person idea that who wants to take the advantage of the software and what kind of improvement does he wants uh, and uh, who will explain the manual explain the manual system because it will be better to get uh, get a detailed knowledge from the experienced person who is working on the manual system Uh, who is uh, handling the manual system so he will explain you the basic functionality of the system who will use the software who are the intended client of this software and how many stakeholder are computer friendly first we shall uh, uh, there could be possibility that if their persons are not comfortable with the computers they will uh, try to uh, not not uh, they will not favor for the software and software auto, um, uh, automation of the system because they are comfortable with the manual system so we should make sure that uh, how many of stakeholders are computer friendly or not and who are against this by this mind of his questions are uh, structured interview in a structured interview agenda a fairly open question is prepared uh in this a uh, certain questionnaire is designed and in this uh, in questionnaire we do not start with the complex questions because first we shall ask simple and short question and we shall start with a simple question at first so that we can uh, we can set the people at ease because by asking the simple question when the atmosphere become comfortable and the person with whom we are asking become calm 
then we go for the specific questions because after getting comfortable he would be easy he, uh, he would be ease and he would give you the better answer and it would be easy to understand the requirement okay uh, and we should also not force that he should answer in two three lines only if he want to discuss or elaborate something we should patiently listen that questions but the question is when we are working on the large size product there there could be thousands of users who will uh, use that so how will we identify that with whom we should ask because it is not feasible that we can ask 10000 people before starting the project and we cannot get idea from everybody so first we should identify our stakeholder and there are four types of stakeholders for software softwares projects first one is the entry level personnel uh, and in entry level personnel these are the person who deal with this software and they have but they have not sufficient knowledge and experience of the functionality of the software they just do an entries over uh, this software they do not have the technical knowledge of that but they may be very useful for fresh ideas and different view because they will get you the how comfortable you can make a software to deal with and in this way your software would be more convenience to use and they will also give you an amazing idea about the look and feel and arrangement of, of the software and the frequent required field you will suppose i am just taking the example of the bank system if suppose at entry level point the some person is just taking the record and feeding the details of the checks then he is not aware the total details of the how the check is processed and other things but he would be give you an idea that what how should be a table should be designed so that he can fill the entries comfortably and final sheet be prepared so that everybody can access their data easily okay the next is the mid level stakeholder they have the these kinds of stakeholder have better domain knowledge and experience of the project and they know the sensitive and complex and critical areas of the project hence the requirement engineer may be able to extract meaningful and useful information and project leader should always be interviewed and uh, here suppose in the bank system the managers are the person who are well aware of the facts that what percent of interest is given on which policies what are the insurance policy what are the the provident fund policies but they um, all understand all the things manually and they uh, they know it quite uh, they know it uh, in a, they know it very well that how the computer functions are doing their job uh, functionally so they can they understand the working they understand the rules and they uh, do rules so they are play a crucial role in providing you better domain knowledge and so, so they will be very helpful you should uh, you will take a uh, representative of this level stakeholder also kyunki jaise bank mein aapke softwares kaam ho rahe hain to usme bank ke personnel sab jante hain ki wahan pe kya policies follow hoti hain कितना इंटरेस्ट होता है कितने अकाउंट्स में मिनिमम अकाउंट क्या होगा क्या चार्जेस होंगे व्हाट विल बी द डिडक्शन चार्ज एंड दे नो इट मैन्युअली एंड दे नो द रूल्स रेगुलेशन एंड दे नो द फंक्शंस एंड दे आल्सो अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ द सॉफ्टवेयर डील्स विद दिस कॉम्प्लिकेटेड फंक्शंस सो दे कैन गिव यू अ बेटर आइडिया अबाउट हाउ डू शुड डिजाइन योर सॉफ्टवेयर मैनेजर और स्टैक होल्डर the higher level management officer like vice president general manager managing director should also be interviewed these are the person who do not know the mini specification you may say but they do not know actually what interest percent is given on which account what are the policies what are the particular detail uh, how many account in the particular uh, policy uh, but they deal with the uh, overall Uh, big size data 
जैसे कि आपके बैंक के सीईओस होंगे वो क्या होंगे उनके साथ जैसे आपने शेयर मार्केट में देखा होगा कि वो दे प्रोवाइड वेरियस काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रेटिक्स और वेरियस काइंड ऑफ स्टैट्स प्रोवाइड करते हैं कि हाउ वॉज द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द कंपनी इन द लास्ट टेन ईयर वट इज द शेयर शेयर प्राइस ऑफ दिस कंपनी एंड दे वॉट आर द टॉप टेन कंपनीज सो एट मैनेजर लेवल दे गिव यू द बेटर आइडिया अबाउट द ओवरऑल डिसीजन दे टेक बाई एनालाइजिंग द डेटा एंड गैदरिंग द एग्रीगेट डेटा सो दे प्ले ऑल्सो क्रुशियल रोल वाइल डिजाइनिंग some unique feature into the software which uh, they which provide very rich information for software development so they are very they provide very different and very rich information to you other than the normal technical informations so the managers are also a kind of important stakeholders and users of software the soft uh, jo software ke user hote hain wo to aapke ek बहुत ही इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल प्ले करते हैं सपोज फॉर एग्जांपल फेसबुक की बात लें तो फेसबुक को जिसने बनाया माइकल जगर पर जगर पर डज नॉट यूज द सॉफ्टवेयर फेसबुक फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम बट इन कंपैरिजन टू जगर पर देर आर मैनी मोर पीपल हु यूज फेसबुक फॉर मोर फॉर एट नाइन सिक्स सेवन आवर्स बट आप जगर पर शायद उतना टाइम के लिए उसको यूज ना करता हो और जो मैनेजर जिन्होंने उसकी फंक्शनैलिटी डिजाइन कर रहे हैं जो उसमें रीसेंट अपडेट डाल रहे हैं स्टेक होल्डर दे आर नॉट दैट मच ऑन फेसबुक दे आर नॉट दैट मच एक्टिव ऑन द फेसबुक बट देर आर बिलियंस ऑफ पीपल हु आर इंटरेक्टिंग थ्रू इच अदर ऑन फेसबुक सो दिस एंड यूजर ग्रुप इज वेरी क्रूशियल बिकॉज दे आर द फाइनल दे आर द एंड क्लाइंट्स दे आर द फाइनल क्लाइंट फॉर होम यू आर डिजाइनिंग द सॉफ्टवेयर who will be the users and they the look and feel and which what thing they like and what they uh, expect and what their uh, ideas and what they are how they want the software to change or new things to add on these thing will be discussed and then you will get after discussion with the user only so only cautious is required that the user should not be biased towards the existing system because suppose aap jaise you facebook pe use kar rahe hain to aap log facebook ke sath bahut comfortable hain to aapke sochne ka tarika bhi facebook ke hisab se ho jata hai and if somebody has a new innovative idea then you should listen to that idea carefully you should not be biased towards a particular existing system which is very popular and you should accept the innovative ideas also so there are four type of personal and you should take sufficient amount of representative from each types first the entry level personal second the mid level stakeholder third the manager or the stakeholders and user of the softwares now the question is what type of question we should ask first the question should be simple and short if you ask two or three question rolled out into one compound question uh, one question this kind of um, this will can lead, this can lead to a compound requirement statement that are difficult to interpret and test so we should avoid these things and we should uh, ask simple and short question and it is easy to prepare question but reading from the questionnaire or only sticking to it is not desirable it is not like that if you have decided that there are 40 question you shall ask this question it is not necessary if while discussion if uh, somebody is wants to discuss a new idea or few more question you should be ready for that you should not avoid discussion for a particular point to just uh, and you should not stick to your certain questionnaire for example the result management system we may ask are there any problem with the existing problem by asking this question you should find out what are the problem with the uh, legacy system or current system with 
because of which he wants to move toward a new software. So you shall identify the shortcoming of the existing system. The second question: Have you faced calculation error in the past? By asking the particular error that has occurred in the software existing software, you shall find. Uh, you should go for the that error in detail, because by this you shall understand the problem and the shortcoming of that problem. And you should note down what the error was, and you should also ask. the what was the possible reason for of the that malfunctioning what they consider that was the problem of that malfunctioning the, by this you will be it would be easy for you to find the, the solution now how many students are enrolled in, in person in presently by this you can decide the performance level of performance of that software and uh, and how with how many users you have to deal with next what are the possible benefit of computerizing this system um uh, by computer, suppose you are automating something then you should know that what will be the uh, what are the advantage these advantage are your require uh, target they should be your objective and you should set your requirement keeping in mind the advantage that you will get by computerizing this system okay so what advantage you are trying to uh, obtain through this software will decide the requirements of the uh, software system you are trying to design so then are you satisfied with the current process processes and policies suppose the existing software is designed as per the policy uh, the process and policy because of which the problem is arising then you should understand the process and policies and what are the policies because of which uh, policies and do and uh, does the change in the policies and processes could uh, could enhance the performance of the newly uh, newly designed software uh, software system then the question is how are you maintaining the records of previous students and what data required by you exist in the other system and if you are uh, designing something are they are already available in the some existing system if there is some thing like that then you can easily get an idea or an idea of of software design by taking example of that one because it would be really helpful if you properly study an existing system which is very similar to the system that you want to make make next question is what problem do you want this system to solve because the some uh, what kind of problem that exists in the manual system or current system that you want have to resolve this the this will also play a crucial role in satisfying your requirement so focusing on the problems uh, solution you can decide your requirements and the another one is do you need do you need additional functionality for improving the performance of the system and what should be the most important goal of the proposed system you should find out what what is the most important thing that you want from the software and consider that a uh, requirement as the most important considering that requirement as the most important requirement you can design a software which will be easily accepted by the intended clients so this is all about the uh, interview process of the software uh, requirement elicitation thank you